Hi guys, Matt DeCrenny here from Beyond Grappling. I just want to let you know that I've been doing uh, question and answers uh, pretty regularly on Facebook. So if you haven't um, added me on Facebook, make sure you go to facebook.com slash beyond grappling and uh, add me as a friend on Facebook. And, and what I've been doing at the moment recently is I've been doing weekly question and answers. So I've been hopping on for 15 to 20 minutes a day or three times a week and I've been just having chats with everybody that's on my Facebook wall so people can ask me questions and I can answer them whether it's about nutrition or strength and conditioning or anything judo related you can ask me the questions so make sure you add me on Facebook I'm regularly posting up videos and articles and, and nutrition articles that will benefit your judo and that sort of stuff but I had a, a question recently uh, on one of my question and answers about uh, a guy was saying that he, he's been working drop C and Agi and he's been trying so often to throw people at training and it's just not working like he's not throwing anybody at training and he's getting really really frustrated so my advice to you guys is that um, when I was in Japan training at Scooby University uh, Ebi Numa trains there who's the 66 kilo guy and he has fantastic uchimadas and I was standing on the side of the mat one day and I said I said to him why are you so good at uchimada for you know I mean I can't speak Japanese his English isn't that great and he just pretty much said to me that he just kept doing it and he was saying that at a young age he would go for Uchimata and everyone in the club would sidestep it and throw him with Uchimata's Keishi and he just kept trying it and trying it and trying it and he was laughing saying that he used to get thrown like two, three hundred times a session and his friends would say why are you still doing Uchimata like we see it coming a mile away and he said you know I want to get good at it this is a throw I like you know all my heroes did Uchimata and I want to do Uchimata as well so Ebenuma said he kept trying to do Uchimata and trying and he said what happened was he got thrown 300 times a session and then 200 times a session and then 100 times a session and as he can every time he got thrown and got counted he got he could feel what he was doing wrong and what his opponents were doing to counter him and then he said sooner or later he started getting thrown 50 times but he started throwing them 50 times and then and then sooner or later you know he's throwing people 100 times a session he gets counted you know once in a blue moon so I really encourage you guys, it was really encouraging for me, you know, and, and for you guys that even the best guys in the world, even top Japanese fighters, they didn't start off straight away throwing people with Ibons all the time. You know, you've got to work at it, you've got to stick to it. And that's the tenacity and the self-discipline you need for judo. Don't go switching, oh, I'm going to try this throw for a week. Oh, I haven't thrown anybody, so I'm going to change techniques. And now this week I'm doing this throw. Stick to a throw. Just keep drilling to thousands and thousands of wuchikomi thousands of nagakomi and just stick to it you know and as you do that you'll develop um, confidence in yourself discipline but you'll also just develop this this um, um, you know this willpower to just kind of just push through the limits and to push through your opponents kind of jeers or your friends are trying to going dude we see that throw coming a mile away why are you still doing it but just keep going just keep thinking on the technique and then you'll be like Ebenuma and sooner or later you'll be winning big tournaments, throwing guys for rip-on all over the place, and then you'll have the good technique, while everyone else is kind of like, oh, I really should have stuck to a throw. So I just encourage you guys to stick to a throw, uh, think about it, do your reps, don't just go swapping and changing techniques. And if you're like the guy on my question and answer, and you're a little bit frustrated, just think on this story of, um, you know, Ebenuma that started off getting thrown hundreds of times a session, and now he's throwing people hundreds of times a session. So, yeah, I just thought it was a really cool story to encourage some people. I told it at the club recently, and everyone was like, yeah, it's pretty motivating. So, uh, anyway, make sure you add me on Facebook, and uh, I'm regularly doing question and answers on there, guys. So make sure you, you add me at facebook.com slash beyondgrappling, and I'll see you on Facebook sometime. Talk soon.